The grand piano comes in different sizes, from the baby grand to the big concert grand piano. You can put a laptop on it when you fold the music stand back. The upright piano also comes in different shapes and sizes. The spinet is the smallest, the console is mid size, and the studio upright is the tallest. Many of us now use electronic keyboards. They too come in many sizes and shapes and can be connected to your computer. Whether you use a piano or a keyboard, make sure you sit up straight with your feet flat on the floor. Use a phone book if your seat is too low. And a footstool if your feet don't reach the floor. Your fingers should easily reach the piano keys. You will be playing with the tips of your fingers, so keep your fingernails short. The video will show you what to do. Good posture and good hand position are very important to playing well. To get the hand position, place your hands on your lap. Move your fingers gently as if you were scratching your legs. Stop when you see your fingers curved. Now, keeping your fingers curved, place them on the keyboard in front of you. That's the way fingers should look when playing the piano. It's easier to play when we know which finger to use. That's why we have numbers. To remember the number of the fingers, we'll do a little wiggling exercise. Watch the video to see how to do it. Some fingers don't want to wiggle easily. Just do your best. Wiggle each finger and say the thumb is number one, the index finger is number two. The middle finger is number three, the ring finger is number four, and the pinky is number five. Look at your keyboard. There are groups of two and three black keys. The white keys are all lined up next to each other. See the video. To hop all groups of two black keys from left to right with your left hand, use your third and second fingers. Listen to the sound. It starts very high and ends very low. Look at the video. To hop all groups of two black keys from right to left with your right hand, use your second and third fingers. Say up, up, up aloud as you hop up to the end. Hear how the sound gets higher? Watch the video. Say down, down, down as you hop down to the left side. Listen to the sound as it gets lower and lower. Watch the video. Now we go down, hopping all groups of three black keys. Use the second, third, and fourth fingers of your right hand. If you check out the keyboard below, you'll see that the first seven letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, are repeated over and over. Use the second finger of either hand to play and say the name of each key going up and down the keyboard. These are fun lessons. Find every note on the keyboard and try to remember its location. The first note to look for is A. The second note to look for is B. The third note to look for is C. C is a very important note. Be sure to remember where C is. 
The fourth note to find is D. After you find all the Ds, you will be looking for the fifth note, which is E. The sixth note to search for is F. And finally, the seventh and last note you want to find is G. We found the notes on the keyboard, but wow, we have landmark notes that tell us where to put certain fingers. Our first landmark note is middle C. It's the C in the middle of the keyboard. Watch the video to see. This is middle C played with the right hand. This is middle C played with the left hand. Our second landmark note is F. Put your left hand thumb on middle C and count down five notes, putting one finger on each white key. The pinky will be on the note F. You will be playing the landmark F with the left pinky. Watch the video. Here's how you play landmark F with your left hand pinky. Our third landmark note is G. Put your right hand thumb on middle C and count up five notes one finger on each white key. The right hand pinky will be on the note G. Watch the video to see how to play Landmark G. Here's how you play Landmark G with your right hand pinky. The landmark notes C, F, and G are very important. Be sure to remember where they're located on the keyboard and on the staff.